Hi everybody and welcome back. Now this lecture is a nice big chunky one, so let's get straight in. And this lecture is all about modifying a list within a function. So when we pass a list to a function, the function can modify that list. Any changes we make to the list within the function are permanent. Let's look at an example. Consider an airline checking in system. So we have two types of passengers, passengers that are not checked in and passengers that are checked in. So our software is going to do two things. It's going to list out the passengers who are not checked in, it's going to take them from the not checked in list, and it's going to move them in to a checked in list. So passengers who have been confirmed to check in. We're going to do this using two functions, each one doing a specific job. One will handle the not checked in passengers, and one will handle the checked in passengers. And each will print out a summary of passengers not checked in and checked in. So let's get started. Let's define our function, so def passengers. And we're going to have two parameters in here, not checked in, not checked in, checked in. Okay, looks good. Colon, so let's give it our description. Simulate passengers who are not checked in. There we go. So while not checked in, now we're going to create a new variable here. So while not checked in, our current passenger, so imagine you're walking up to the check-in desk at an airport, you are the current passenger. So our current passenger equals not checked in. Obviously you are not checked in yet, you have just walked up to the check-in desk. So what we want to do with our not checked in passengers is pop each one from the list as they check in. So let's just add in a comment here, simulate checking a passenger in. And how do we do that? Well, we give a print message, print, open up our quotes, checking in passenger, and then we have colon, space, plus current passenger. Checked in, dot append, current passenger. Okay, let's just briefly run through this while statement again. So while are not checked in passengers, so for any passengers who are not checked in, create a new variable called current passenger and assign that variable one passenger at a time from our not checked in list. So we're popping off from the list one at a time. Next, print out a message that says checking in passenger and current passenger. Then once that's done, move the current passenger into our checked in list. So that all sounds pretty straightforward and exactly what should happen if you're a passenger who is checking in at an airport. Now our second function, show checked, hopefully if I spelled that right, checked in passengers. So you can tell straight away what this function is going to do. Checked in. Don't forget your colon. Open up our comments. Show all the passengers who have checked in. Now you've checked in at the front desk. You've obviously been moved to the checked in list because you've got your boarding pass or whatever it might be and then you've gone through security. So print backslash n, nice new line. The following passengers have been checked in. Okay, what's next? Well, four passengers in checked in, so our checked in list, print passengers. Something similar to what we've seen before. Now, we want to create our two lists. Not checked in equals, we're just going to do one passenger at the moment, which is going to be myself, just to make sure that we're working okay. Tony Staunton. And checked in is empty. Why is it empty? Because we're going to move through the list of non-checked in passengers to checked in. So one list will become the other, essentially. Now we call our two functions. First function is passengers. And in that function, we have two 
we pass it two arguments, not checked in and checked in. Next, we call our second function, show checked in passengers. We're only passing that one argument, checked in. Now, there's a lot going on there. Let's run this and keep our fingers crossed. We have an error at line 18. Let's see. For passengers checked in, I forgot my colon. It's always one of my downfalls, forgetting the colon. I don't know why, I'm going too fast, I suppose. Let's run it again. Line 19, print passengers. And because I forgot my colon, it didn't indent. So let's try it again. Third time lucky, there we go. Checking in passenger, Tony Staunton. The following passengers have been checked in. Tony Staunton. Okay, so let's just expand out our list here now. Let's go with um, Mary Murphy. Let's go with Frank Waters. Let's add in one more for luck and let's go with Sam Smith. No relation to the singer. Let's run this again. There we go. Checking in passenger Sam Smith, Frank Waters, Mary Murphy, Tony Staunton. The following passengers have been checked in. So there's a space there in Frank, so we can just remove that. So again, let's just run through this, quickly through this code to make sure we understand exactly what's going on. So we start off by defining our first function. And this function is going to simulate passengers who are not checked in. Our function has two parameters, not checked in and checked in. So while we have passengers in our not checked in, the current passenger equals not checked in dot pop. So move one passenger at a time from our checked in, not checked in list to the current passenger. Then print the message saying checking in passenger, current passenger. Next, move the current passenger into our checked in list. Okay, simple. Well, kind of simple. Following that, we have our second function show checked in passengers that has one parameter checked in. So our comment here, show all the passengers who have checked in. Print the following passengers have checked in. So for passengers in our checked in list, print passengers. So that's a simple loop. We're looping through the passengers in our checked in list until there are none left. Following that, we create two lists, not checked in and checked in. And then finally, we call our two functions and pass it the arguments needed, not checked in and checked in, which are our lists essentially. Our first list has a list of three or four not checked in passengers and our second list is empty. But when we go through our functions, the second list checked in is full of our passengers. A lot of passengers, a lot of checked in, checked out, whatever it might be. So run through this function and through this program a couple of times to make sure that you understand it. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.